everybody, today I have an e.l.f. makeup tutorial for you guys. It's the this look that I created, and trust me, I'm loving all the new e.l.f. aqua infused line. I think it's totally worth it, totally worth your money. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of new stuff, my thoughts and reviews on it, but I think you'll be amazed, or you'll like it, or I don't know. Especially if you're fair skin, the one I bought is for lighter skin, um, but they have like all this new stuff you know so let me not get ahead of myself and I'll let you guys see the tutorial but yes I'm really excited about all this stuff if you can't tell so yeah stay tuned to see how I got this look and yeah <laughs> first off we're going to start with the elf primer mist from the aqua new aqua line now I hate the nozzle on this so I don't really recommend it but I have it and I'm going to use it. So you definitely want to put it on before you do your makeup not to set it whatsoever unless you can find like a different spray bottle. But it like drenches your face. But it does work as a really good primer. I'm kind of torn on it but it's too messy for me. I'd rather have just the regular primers that they have and then they're just regular setting spray because I do like that so it's up to you. Then I'm going to put on my e.l.f. This is in the color Perfect Pink. It looks like this. And these are the like lip balms that warm to your lips. Um, looks like that. But it is super moisturizing and I love the color it gives. So, just want to hydrate my lips before. Just to show you, because I have a different lip product that I like altogether that I'm going to use at the end of this video. So, that way I could use both. Um, then I got this new foundation in sand. <clears throat> Sorry. It's the Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Flawless Finish Foundation. It comes in package like this. Let me take it out. They only have four shades at my store, and the lightest shade was porcelain. So, I grabbed this one because I'm not really sure. So hopefully, I haven't even like checked it on my hand or anything. I'm probably going to do a separate like foundation video with this just to show how long lasting it is. But for today, I'm just going to use it in this tutorial. Just because I've heard like mixed reviews on it. So I want to see, show you my thoughts on it. And I'll show it with like Beauty Blender and this application too. I like the color of my skin though. It feels nice. It feels like a little bit thick but not super thick and easily blendable. I didn't think that this shade was gonna work. Like in the packaging, it looks way darker than it does like on my skin, you know. But so far, I really like the consistency of it. I don't see anything weird or anything. And this is, I think, six bucks. Yeah, it's six dollars, so. If this works, this is gonna be a really good foundation. And I feel like my skin looks kind of luminous. It doesn't look dry or anything like that. Or cakey. It just is a pretty color. I really like this. And I did not think I would, to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to have to do like just a foundation review here soon on my channel just to show the wear and everything like that. And which applies better. Hmm, not excited to do that. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I've used it a bunch of times. I've hit pan on it. I'm going to use it up because I like it. It oh, The only thing, this is in the dark brown color. Um, it kind of like tints my eyebrows a little bit red. But they have a new formula, so I'll like buy the new one once I run out of this one. But it doesn't really bother me unless I'm taking like pictures or anything like that. That's when it's annoying a little bit. But other than that, not really. And I kind of pref like prefer these powder and gel formulas. I don't really like um, like pencil eyebrow liners. I used to do that way back in the day. But I just feel like this looks way more natural, or at least for me when I apply it, so, yeah. But I'll finish the eyebrows because it takes forever, and then I'll be right. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if you can see that red tint of it. I can see it in person, 
but on camera I feel like it never shows on camera up here but when you finish your makeup and everything it's not super noticeable so it's really affordable I think it's only three dollars two dollars if I'm not mistaken now I have the elf eyelid primer and this is in the color sheer I'm just gonna pop that on my lids now the eyeshadow palette that I have um, is like an older one kind of like their holiday edition but I feel like it comes out every holiday edition so probably everyone still has it and they have it on their website so um, but in stores I always see it on the holidays but their little black beauty book warm edition and I've hit pan on this because I've used it quite a bit because the colors are actually really really pigmented it's really messy though but really cool colors right um, and this is yeah the little black beauty book warm edition yeah even the little sticker says that. So I'm going to apply these as my base coat because I'm going to be using their aqua shadows on top. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see because I hit pan, but I'm going to use this reddish color right here um, and apply that in my crease. just a really pretty color and really pigmented I just really like it and I find that these stay all day um, so if you ever get a chance to pick this up it's less than ten dollars I feel like it's it might be six dollars on the holidays maybe t just ten but I might be delusional <laughs> um, but it was a good find I think I found mine at TJ Maxx but I've seen it in Target always so yeah I feel like summer's going by so fast that's gonna be holidays before you know it and I'm really not ready for that and then in my crease I'm gonna put which color do I want to brighten it up with this color right here I wish these had names but they don't it is a really cheap product though so that's why but again pretty this one has a like slight sh like um iridescence to it I just really like this color in general and then all over the lid um, I'm going to put this like orangish tan color right here you can tell I love this color um, just as like a base for the shimmer we're gonna put on top by elf see again like super pigmented you can see the difference right away I feel like this is a really simple summery look to do and that's simple as that now I got these elf what are they called molten liquid eyeshadows in liquid gold and rose gold they look like this I used the rose gold in my last tutorial, so I'm going to use the liquid gold on this one. Now, I feel like when you apply it, it's really pretty, but you got to kind of pat it on and then distribute it with your finger, not with the stick, because it'll totally like remove the product. And I'm just kind of infusing it into the whole eyelid. But gently because I don't want it to be like too gold I just want it to be a pretty gold sheen but overall they do last all day it's just like with the stick by itself it's gonna move around all by itself like take it off with the wand so that kind of sucks with the wand so just use your fingers put a little bit more I think I put it more on the corner here but I do like the color. Okay. That's all for the eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use my e.l.f. cream eyeshadow in black. Looks like this. And a little paint pot. I've used these so many times. But these are really creamy. I wouldn't wing out my eyes with them because it's easy for them to just like move they're not like um waterproof or anything like that 
and I feel like it smudges really easily throughout the day um, if it's not just on the lash line but for an everyday like eyeliner it works really really well just not as like a bottom eyeliner at all at least not if you have watery eyes like me you can see it's really black really pretty super simple I love it let me put the top on there just make sure it's always shut tight or else it'll dry out really really fast and I've had some dry out on me now, I didn't have a wet and wild mascara or ugh, an elf mascara I only have their like elf brow and lash um definer thing clear brow and lash mascara but I'm not doing clear so I'm just gonna use my NYC Showtime mascara for this sorry I didn't even I really thought I had one so I must have um ran out of it okay next up we have the concealers now y'all know I love my elf concealer cream concealer in the shade light of hit pan it's because with my eczema for whatever reason I'll say it again this is the only like base that I can use that doesn't irritate my um under eye area and I can use it with any other concealer if I put this down first and then it doesn't burn my eyes the rest of them I mean it does a good job at brightening it just kind of fades into your fine lines really easily so I don't like to use it by itself ever um but that's okay elf concealer it's a stick concealer looks like that and it is in the shade it's like so small natural clear they put it all as one word there and it comes up like this and I'm gonna see how this one works I usually use this one as like a spot one on like blemishes and stuff like that. As you can see I have like a little blemish right here. So I'll put it up there. But I mean it's not bad. I just don't love stick um, concealers. I just don't feel like they feel hydrating you know. But it works well. I feel like as a teenager I used to use this stuff just because it was like more affordable and I don't really love their liquid like concealers and by elf I just feel like they do nothing like they just kind of like go on and then swipe away don't do anything at all <laughs> so yeah and there's that I'm buffing out this one okay now I am going to go back in with this one um and i'm just going to take that orange shade right there and put that on the bottom lash line And that looks really, really, really simple, but with the mascara on the bottom lashes, it's going to look way better. Dropping stuff over here. So I'm just going to put that NYC mascara on the bottom lash line. On my bottom lashes, I mean. I think I'm going to go over it with the red color. Where did I put my brush? I'm losing everything. That red one we used right here and put that kind of in the outer corner just to find it a little bit more okay now on to contouring this part will be fun because I got two new palettes I got the elf elf aqua aqua infused blush and bronzer and bronze peach and then I got the Natural Glow Face Palette, Fresh and Flawless, Beautifully Bare, um, like that. So, I want to try them both. Let me open this one. It's really pretty packaging. This is the Natural Glow Face Palette. I can't open it, though. Okay. 
that's what it looks like really pretty this one's like the highlight color blush um an another blush and then the bronzer in this one and then this is the elf aqua infused blush and bronzer i have their other one. Ooh, this one's a shiny package so the other ones were like chrome and then if i can take the little piece off of it and this one i did get the powder one because I, I prefer powders but that looks really vibrant and pretty so this looks way better than the old elf one it used to be the bomb and then i feel like it didn't it wasn't pigmented so yeah so which one do i want to use i guess i want to use both so i'm gonna start with this one the aqua infused blush and bronzer and i'm gonna i feel like i'm too dark for this bronzer so maybe I'll do the blush with this one and bronze up my face first with this palette, the Natural Glow Face Palette. So I'm going to just take that bronzer and bronze it up. That's like a really light color, but it's really pretty. I feel like if you're fair skinned or I'm like a medium complexion. But it's already like midsummer here and I'm still white as a ghost. I've been enjoying my summer like crazy, but not really at the pool that often. Like I thought it was gonna be. Hopefully this month. Fingers crossed. That is such a pretty bronzer. Yeah, I think the other one would be too dark for me right now, but hopefully in a couple weeks it'll look good. But I like it. It warms up my face just a tad. Yeah. I really really do like that so yay win now I'm gonna try the blush from the other aqua infused blush and bronzer palette in the peach shade let's see I'm, I'm afraid to put like a ton oh that's just a pretty wash of color oh my gosh I love this color I love peachy shades peachy corals like I barely tapped it because I didn't want it to be like too much but that is just such a pretty color on me. Oh, I love it. Yay, winning. Now I'm going to use the highlight shade back to this palette. Ah, it's really hard to open though. Um, Which is the shade right here. And see how that does on my cheekbones. Oh, I didn't realize I had mascara there. Okay. That's pretty. That's not like super well dramatic in person it's a little bit more dramatic but it's still a really pretty shine like healthy glow this is kind of a win for me I don't I wasn't expecting this and these were both six dollar palettes so that's freaking awesome I feel like I blend that out a little bit better okay yes that's what I'm talking about. Put some down the bridge of my nose and in my cupid's bow. This is such a pretty little daytime look. I'm so proud of myself here. Just kidding. It was really me. Okay. This lip look, this might be a little bit too dark, but it looks way darker in the packaging. This is the new e.l.f. Um, Dewy Berry lip glosses. Now, I've tried this a bunch of times and I love it, which is why I want to share it with you guys. It looks really, really dark, like really, really dark. Um, but, and it feels like water gliding on your lips. But it's not that dark when you put it on. It's like a really pretty staining your lips feeling. It just feels so weird because it really feels like I'm just putting water on my lips, like just wetting my lips. the color lasts a long time it's easy to reapply it's not the most hydrating thing I mean it feels like my lips are wet like I just drank some water and have wet lips that's what it feels like but the color is so pretty I love it yeah love 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 I'm just gonna blend this up a little bit more And I'm going to put some of that highlight in the inner corner just because, you know, I feel like doing so. This is a really hard palette to open though. 
not even kidding at all. Put a little bit of that right here, just to brighten it up a little bit. I really like this. I feel like it's natural, glowy, pretty. Love it. So I'm going to set it all with my e.l.f. makeup mist and set. My handy dandy. I already have two backups. I love the spray on this. I feel like it does make my makeup last all day. For really cheap. So I've tried other ones and I just don't like them as much as I like this one. So yeah. I freaking love this look. So that's everything for this look. I really like it. It's really simple, pretty, inexpensive as crap because Elf is like way inexpensive and really good. Like there wasn't anything that I didn't like other than maybe the concealer because it's not my favorite concealer in the world. But I mean these two palettes are bomb. These molten eyeshadows I love. Especially these. This I love. Oh, I guess the only thing I don't really love is the Aqua Primer Mist. Um, just because it just blows too much. Like, the actual sprayer sucks. But the actual formula is good. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's more expensive. I think it's like $8. And that's a lot to pay for e.l.f. products when I could get the primer by itself for $6. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's kind of hydrating. So... I haven't decided and the elf feels really good so far but I will do a video on just testing out this foundation for you and showing you how long it lasts on my skin um yeah I'm not gonna do that today <laughs> but I will do it in a separate video so yeah um yeah overall I really like it I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week love you guys bye